The thickness planer that I use is a fairly popular model and the feature that makes this different from most other planers is that it has a built-in blower that collects the chips as they're being cut and forces them out. And so a few years ago I built this thing right here very crudely and roughly and what it does is it allows me to use one of my big garbage cans to collect the chips in and also filters the air as it's coming out through this cloth. But one of the bigger drawbacks with this is that there's no separator built in and the chips will collect on the inside of that cloth. So I made an improvement to it and this is it right here. Still very rough and ready, made from scrap plywood, but it works way better than the first one. Now I'll quickly run down how I made it. Like I said, it's a scrap of plywood. It's half inch spruce sheathing. And I just laid out two big circles on it. One is the cover that fits on top of the can. And the other is the theme baffle that will sit down inside. And the theme baffle is the magic part here. That's what keeps the chips in the bottom of the can. I cut more of the half inch plywood to create a lip around the underside of the cover that fits down tightly in the garbage can and I also ran a bead of silicone around that lip to act as a gasket. I took the inlet from the old one that was just a piece of two inch ABS pipe cut on an angle and I cut the hole through the cover using the right size hole saw and holding it on cutting on an angle. For this to work there needs to be a space between the theme baffle and the cover so I cut three blocks and I glued them to the underside of the cover first and then I glued the theme baffle down to those lining it up roughly where it would be in the center of the garbage can. Originally I made this so that it would have a shop vac filter on the top. It would certainly do the best job of filtering the air as it's coming out but I tried running the thing without that and I didn't see a whole lot coming out. So instead I replaced that with a piece of window screen held in place by another piece of half inch plywood. Even while I was putting this screen on, I was thinking about, you know, alternatives for this. And I remembered that I have a flat filter. It's actually the cabin air filter from my van that I changed recently. And I just blew it out and made a simple wooden frame to go around it. And to fasten the filter in the frame, I'm gonna lift it up a little bit so there's some space underneath it and use silicone to glue it in. That lifts the filter up a quarter inch and allows air to get at the entire filter rather than just the hole in the middle. But the frame that I made to hold the screen in place is a half inch thick, so I've got to take that out. I'm just going to glue the screen in place with the silicone instead. And after the glue dried on everything, I can get that filter frame put in place. I'm just going to hold it down with two screws. I figure I won't have to take this off very often and of course it's a workshop so a screwdriver is always handy. So the idea here is that the screen will stop the big stuff from getting through to the filter and the filter will filter the fine dust. <laughs> 